Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some more fun and simple DIYs. Before we get started, as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. For this first project, we'll be using two of these little clay pots from Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack. And I'm just going to be giving these two coats of my white chalk paint and I'm doing the outside and the inside. Now for this project, I'll be using my little stamps that I have. I got these on Amazon, but you can, of course, just hand write on these, use a stencil, or if you want to get some letter stamps, they do carry these at Dollar General. On one of my pots, I'm going to be stamping grow and on the other one, I'm going to be stamping bloom because even though I am making this for Easter right now, once Easter is over, I do want to be able to continue using these. Now just to dress these up a little bit, I am using these rub on transfers that I got from Dollar Tree. These are just the ones they have like cactuses and different plants on them. And I thought these would be perfect for these planners. To fill my pots, I'm just using some Dollar Tree floral foam, and then I'm going to hot glue some of this Dollar Tree moss on top of there. And since I am decorating these for Easter right now, I found these little moss bunnies at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use some of the Dollar Tree skewers to stick those down into the foam. Then finally, I'm just going to add one of these twine wrapped carrots that I also got from Dollar Tree to the little pots. And here's how they turned out. Again, you can take the little carrot and the bunnies out of here and use these all spring long. For the next project, I'll be using one of these wood bunny heads as well as one of these little square wood pieces that I also got at Dollar Tree. I'm also gonna be using this old sweater that I had. If you watched my Christmas videos, you know that I used it there as well. And I just had some left over. So all I'm going to do is just trace around the bunny head onto my sweater and then I'm going to cut that down. Then I'm just going to hot glue that piece of sweater to the front of my bunny head. Now for this next part, I'll be using this little piece of wood. I got this out of one of the little car shop kits that you can find in the toy section at Dollar Tree. If you can't find those or you don't want to use those, you could just use a thick piece of cardstock or something similar for this part. As you can see here, I'm just going ahead and painting this with just one coat of my white chalk paint. And then I'm again going to be using my little stamps to stamp hop onto this little wood piece. I'm also going to be using two of these little tacks that came from Dollar Tree. I just went ahead and cut off the little tack part and I'm going to hot glue these onto the little hop sign just to give it some detail. But as you can see, I do go ahead and hot glue the hop sign to the front of the bunny because those little tacks are more so just decorative. To attach my bunny head to that little square wood piece, I'm just going to be using a Jenga block and some of Dollar Tree's wood glue. I did also add in just a little bit of hot glue just so that it would stay and that wood glue could dry. Thank you. 
For this next project, I wanted to make another decor piece that could be changed out with the seasons or the holidays. So I'm using one of Dollar Tree's chalkboard stands and I'm gonna go ahead and paint that white. You can use painter's tape if you wanted to on this project. I'm just using a little index card so that I don't get paint on the chalkboard. And then here you can see that I'm just going ahead and prepping my chalkboard by rubbing it with a piece of chalk because if I didn't do it now, I would probably forget Get. Also for this project, I'll be using four of these little wood beads. Now I got these at Walmart. You can of course find wood beads on Amazon or you could use the little Easter garland that Dollar Tree has right now and just paint them. So all I'm doing here is just wood gluing two beads to each side of my little chalkboard frame. Now I am using wood glue. I don't recommend using hot glue because the beads don't tend to stay very well, but you can use hot glue to help them stay. For this project, I'll also be using one of these Dollar Tree wood bunnies and I just watered down some brown paint to make my own stain for the bunny. Now, because I want to be able to change this out for seasons and holidays, I'm not gonna glue the bunny to the frame. I'm just gonna be using some of these Dollar Tree magnets and then you'll be able to change it out throughout the seasons. And for different holidays, you can put different things on there. And I'm just gonna add a magnet to the back of my bunny as well. But right here, I'm just adding some little detail to the bunny using a Dollar Tree paint marker. And then I am using Dollar Tree's gel super glue to add that magnet to the bunny. Then all you have to do is just write or draw whatever you want onto your chalkboard. I'm using Dollar Tree's chalkboard markers for this. And then you're just gonna add in some little flower picks and put those down into the beads. Then you can change out the magnet and the flowers for every holiday. For this next project, I'll be using this little home sign that I got at Dollar Tree back in the fall. Now they do still have these signs, it just has a different background, so you can still get these in store. So for this sign, it does have four little tacks, one on each side, and all you have to do is just pop the back out by giving it a little push, and then those little tacks come loose. Now for the front piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that entire thing with some of my white chalk paint. And then for the back piece, I went ahead and ripped off most of the paper, all of it that I could get, but I am gonna go ahead and cover it with some of this white cardstock. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to use a page from this Dollar Tree calendar, and it doesn't quite fit all the way across the back piece. So I'm just using the white cardstock to cover the edges where that calendar piece doesn't cover. So here I'm just using a glue stick to attach that cardstock and then I'm also going to cut another little piece because the cardstock actually didn't reach across but don't worry that seam will be covered by the calendar piece. Then right here, I'm just using the front of that frame to mark where I wanna cut the calendar, but just because I wanted to make sure what you would see through the frame. Then just like with the cardstock, I'm just using my glue stick to attach this. And finally, all I had to do was pop that back back on. There was no hot glue needed because like I said, there are four little tacks and you just pop it right back on. For this next project, I wanted to make a fake little book stack. Now I made one of these back at Christmas using Dollar Tree's wood crates and it turned out so cute that I thought I would just make another one for Easter. So the first thing I'm doing for this project is just giving this crate two coats of my white chalk paint and you don't have to worry about painting the inside because you're not gonna see it at all. 
Then I'll be using some of this orange apple barrel paint. This is the color Harvest, and I'm just gonna paint that middle section on both sides. Now again, for this project, you could use some painter's tape if you needed to, but I wasn't too concerned about getting it in places it shouldn't be because I could just paint over that with some white. For the lettering on this fake little book stack, I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree stickers. You can, of course, as always, use a stencil or your own handwriting. I just thought that these stickers would be easy and they turned out really cute and they actually fit really well on these crates. Then finally, to dress this up, I'm just going to be using some Dollar Tree twine and I'm going to wrap that around the side of this, tie a bow, and then I'm also going to be decorating this with some of these little twine wrapped carrots from Dollar Tree. Now you can hot glue these down if you want to, I'm just placing them right on top. For this next easy project, I wanted to make some bunny rabbit coasters, so I'm using two of these nautical ropes from Dollar Tree, and also I'll be using some of this mesh ribbon that I also picked up at Dollar Tree. So to start my coasters, I'm just going to be hot gluing these and going around in a circle, and you're just going to continue to hot glue those as you keep wrapping your rope around in a circle. You just want to make sure that you are gluing the center of the rope. You don't want to really get the glue on the bottom or the top and just keep it tightly wound. Now once I went around a few times, I'm just going to start making my bunny ears and all you have to do is just make a bunny ear and then you're going to hot glue that in the center to your coaster. Then you're going to make another bunny ear and continue hot gluing. Once I glued down that second bunny ear, I just went ahead and took my rope and wrapped it around almost to the other side and then I'm going to cut that off and make sure it's glued tight to the coaster. Then I'm going to flip that coaster over and I'm going to go ahead and cut down some mesh and you're just going to have to keep cutting that down and figuring out how much you're going to need to cover the backside of the ear and then you'll probably have to cut it down a couple times. I did. I didn't really measure or mark it or anything. I just kept cutting it down and then I'm just going to hot glue that to the back of the coaster. For one of my coasters, I went ahead and added a little bow to the front of it and I did end up making two of these and here's how they turned out. For this final project, we'll be using three of these little wood bunnies from Dollar Tree. Now I did go ahead and I filled in all the holes using some of Dollar Tree spackle and then I just sanded it down. I'm also using one of these wood hexagons that is also from Dollar Tree and this is for the base. Now I went ahead and I gave each of these pieces two coats of my white chalk paint. Now for this project, I decided to do a fun little design on my bunny. So I just wanted to do a kind of, I guess, pinstripe design on these. So for the first one, I'm just using some painter's tape and I'm making a small little pinstripe. And then right next to it, I'm just going to make a larger pinstripe. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing, but just across the bunny. Now I wanted to be able to switch this out for different holidays and seasons so instead of gluing the bunnies to my little hexagon 
I am actually going to be using some more of these magnetic buttons for this project as well. And I'm just going to be using some of my Dollar Tree gel super glue to attach those magnets and then attach the bunny to the other magnet. And since Dollar Tree always seems to put out these little wood pieces for the holidays and seasons, you can easily just change them out. Now you could use this to put a little plant on or you could grab one of Dollar Tree's little candle holders and put that on here and then just add a Dollar Tree candle. But here is how mine turned out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.